Conventions for presentation and communication are changing. This is because technologies of representation and those of communication and or dissemination are everywhere bound up with the larger, wider world, economic, social, political, and cultural changes. Writing in the book or giving away to the image and the screen. This change is inevitable, and thus so too must the nature of teaching and learning change. For in order to be successful meaning makers in an increasingly image screen dominant world, students need different literacy attitudes, skills, and knowledges. Readers of traditional print-based texts are trained to be knowledge seekers, whereas visitors to multimodal mediums such as websites become information hunters. And unlike print media's single access point, a web page has multiple entry points. There is no pre-given, no clearly discernible reading path, and in this medium, it is the reader who fashions their own knowledge from the information supplied by the makers of the site. The difference in the reader's visitor's role is critical from a pedagogical perspective, and with this in mind, teachers need to adjust their role. Nikkeis and Barnes describe the constructivist classroom as a model and assert that in this paradigm, the role of teacher changes from information provider, sequencer of information, and test creator to guide, scaffolder, and problem solver or task creator. With respect to augmenting these contexts with multimodal representation communication technology, they note, the construction process begins when students seek out and interact with digital tools, reference materials, video, music, and the Internet. The International Society for Technology and Education, ISTE, state that effective teachers model and apply five standards for students as they design, implement, and assess multimodal learning experiences to engage students and improve learning. Within these are listed such actions as using technology to facilitate experiences that advance students' learning, solving problems using digital tools, design and develop digital learning experiences, develop technology-enriched learning environments that enable all students to pursue their individual curiosities and become active participants, model digital age work and learning, promote and model digital citizenship and responsibility, and engage in professional growth and leadership. For teachers, then, it's paramount to provide learning opportunities that are student-centered and digitally enhanced. Now, that's not to say that learning to read and write expository styles is no longer valuable or should not be taught. These skills and competencies will remain useful and have purpose for some time to come. However, the range of learning experiences in classroom needs to broaden so that students gain competency also with reading, interpreting, representing, and communicating within image and screen modes. Students need to have these contemporary literacy skills so that they can easily choose a mode that seems most apt for the purpose of representation and communication. If I need to represent something best done in this image, I can now do so, similar with writing.